Um, I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's just that it's still very early in the morning here and it's dark. Well, I'm your boy Terry, the internet madman. And today in this particular video, I'm going to be talking about a top blogger um, who cannot play chess or doesn't play chess. And how do I determine this? I try to picture this person's mind eye, mind's eye by visiting their website, their Instagram pages and based on their characteristics after I've paid attention to even the tiniest details um, and tallying it to the likely characteristics of someone who plays chess um, then I'm able to determine that um, there is a huge likelihood that they cannot play chess or don't play chess. I don't know if those are the same things, but um, well, so we're talking today of a person. She's a wonderful woman. She resurrects, so to speak. I'm someone who is in the rubble, <laughs> but I was so inspired to write after reading her blog. She's such an amazing person, a very strong woman. Um, she has she has had different kinds of experiences, and sh yet she able to maintain humor as well as insightfulness at the same time on her blog. In fact when I was writing about her and determining in my writing that she cannot play chess uh, she distracted me a lot positively. She reminded me of some emotions and I had to tap into them and I had to write some other things apart from the fact that she doesn't play chess. Um, the name of her website is her bad mother um, I think dot com I'll just place a link underneath this video to her website it's wonderful uh, you'll be inspired and to new avenues if you went to her website and I also put a link to what I wrote because I'm also having my own kind of humor and creativity and perhaps in I tapped into new forms of creativity um, in this new writing so I implore you to visit both our websites and I just like to read you excerpts of what I wrote about Catherine Connor yes um, and those are my determining factors for that she cannot play chess and um, well I noticed from surfing her website her Instagram that She's obsessed with princesses, or will I say princesses obsess her? It's one of the two. I don't know if those are the same things, but um, how I wish chess had even one princess, but it doesn't. It has one boring queen, queen, one static queen always by the side of the king, and <laughs> nothing like princesses. And uh, well, another thing is Catherine Connor loves cookies so if there was a chess table and she was about to play chess and a cookie tray passed by just the aroma is enough to take her off of the table into her tutu I think that's her headgear some form of hat and she'll be off trying to trace those cookies those are nothing comparable to a boring game of chess I mean um, looking at an ugly face in front of you ancient looking officials on the chessboard that's boring and well <laughs> another thing is um, she loves cupcakes she loves those so that's another distract you know chess you need full focus and um, if you have to you know like heighten your defense strategy for mere cupcakes then uh, he won't be able to maintain focus for perhaps a 30 minute long game of chess well uh, I just want to leave you with excerpts so you can go ahead and read I wrote some touching emotional weighty things to um, in general it's a good read and we'll learn a lot. We'll have a wonderful day after reading my blog and certainly after reading Catherine Connor's blog. She's a wonderful woman and um, well you'll determine that by visiting either of our blogs. 
uh, I'm the internet internet's madman once again and don't laugh at a madman yeah, that's a simple rule that's applicable in general um, overall I'm your boy Terry um, I hope you manage to enjoy this video um, have a wonderful day thank you very much